Hey there, Cancer. Welcome. Okay, so this is your love reading for April 2024. And we'll see what's going on. I'm doing this sort of like freestyle here to see what the guys want to give us here. The angels and the guys. So let's see what's going on for you. Ooh, we're starting out with the devil. Are you dealing with a Capricorn? Or is there fear here? Are you dealing with addictions? Um, obsession? Um, possession? Is someone being very possessive? Jealousy? What's going on with you guys? Let's see. Could be just dealing with a Capricorn. And we have... Oh, there's an end to this. Okay. So whatever this devil energy is, you're either ending it with a Capricorn or you're ending some kind of bad habit, addiction, or fear, or something's coming to an end. You're done with it. And we have here... And you're, you're focusing on your work. Okay. So let's see. I didn't like starting out with the devil, but once we got the ten of swords, I was very happy. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. We have here. Yeah, there's something about maybe someone holding back, um, holding on to something. It almost feels like you're able to release something now and let go of it. Maybe you're holding on to it out of fear, or I just you're just having a hard time letting go of it, but now you're letting go of it. You're able to let go of it. And this has something to do with, there's a victory here. We have the Six of Wands. This You're claiming your victory. You're like, okay. I almost feel like someone was really fearing their own power or their own capability. But now they're realizing. Because this is like you're standing out. You're getting, you're victorious. You're getting credit for something here. And it could have something to do with your work. There is here the sun. You're very happy with your work. Or you're doing something that is shining bright or getting a lot of attention. It's like it's vibrant. It's, it's fun. It's happiness. It could also be dealing with a Leo. But it has something to do with something you put a lot of time and effort into. Okay. So, can we get something on your love life? Because maybe that's something you had to take care of first. Before you could um, pay attention to a love connection. So, do does Cancer have someone new coming in? Let's see. We have... Oh, look at this. Your hopes, your wishes, dreams come true. Aquarius energy. The star. Or else you're just getting a lot of attention here. And we have here at Seven Cups, you're going to have options, choices. You might be confused about which one to take here. And we have here, but here we have the sun again. Ah, very strong Leo energy coming in, maybe. Maybe there's a Leo coming in for you. Are you interested in Leo? If you are, it might be you, you have the choice if you want them. Okay. Let's see about the star. We have here, this is, this is the um, page of cups. Okay, so there is a love offer coming in that's going to make you very happy. So it could be from a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. It could be Apology, too. Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups we have here, this is the Three of Wands, something you've been waiting for. You may have had other choices and options, and but now the one that you've been waiting for is coming in. Something that makes you really happy with the sun here. And this is a Seven of Wands. Yeah, it's like you're standing above the rest or something here. You're getting attention or whatever. It's like, it's like you're the king or queen of the mountain here. And and all eyes are on you. You have the star here. You have the sun here twice. There's something being eliminated, illuminated in your life. And it's you. It's you are standing out. Let's get a... Um, I didn't do a charm on the page of cups. Let's see. We have here a key. So here is the answers to your questions opening doors you now have access to maybe something you you didn't have access to before because the key could open doors could close doors it gives you answers maybe this person's coming in with the answer to your dreams here because it is the star let's see we have here never caring love past oh is this someone returning from the past or it could be someone brand new, but they never cared for love in the past and they met you. Or maybe you never cared for anyone in the past until you meet this person. So that's what the energy I'm really getting. That someone never cared until you guys came together. Whether it's your energy or theirs, someone's feeling that way. Okay. So let's go on. Let's see here. What else do we have for Cancer? We have here... Okay, so we have here the Five of Swords. There might be some kind of conflict here, 
But, you know, I kind of like the fact that it feels like someone's coming in and it's like, um, how would you, is there like a de-sorting? Is there something to, for, that someone says when they remove swords? It's like someone's, um, taking someone's, someone's swords away. So, so I think you're doing that. You're able to take someone's. Um, way to f try to fight. So here's a here's the lovers. I, I don't know. I can't. What is the word for that? We have here the five of swords. So this is usually some kind of conflict. Someone starting trouble. I think you are somehow stopping this, um, intervening with something. And here comes this lover connection choice card here. Gemini energy. Let's see. We have here the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn could be coming your way here. Coming in with an offer. This could be your energy too. It could be you that you're focused on. Your money, you're building your, your money here. Let me um, get a charm for this queen. We have here. Okay, so we have Pegasus coming in with good news. Okay, Pegasus coming in with good news. Okay. So I think there's an offer coming towards you. Let's see about this Five of Swords. We have here, this is the Queen of Swords. Yeah, it feel, almost feels like you're um, you're nipping something in the bud. I think someone is trying to start some kind of conflict, some kind of trouble. It could be with you and someone else. But you're taking control of this situation. I feel like you're the Queen of Swords. Or you could, for some of you, you could be dealing with a Queen of Swords. I got to cough. Hang on a second. Either case, either you're dealing with a Queen of Swords... That is causing trouble or is um, starting something up. Or you are the Queen of Swords. Whatever it is, you I, I feel strongly that you are putting an end to something here. You're stopping something from happening. So we have here. This yeah, it looks so machine. You're fixing something. You're mending something. You're putting pieces together. You're figuring things out. Now, as far as the lovers, we have here. This is the Ace of Wands. He has a lot of passion and desire coming your way. There's an offer coming, a passion offer. And for the Queen of Pentacles, we have here, this is the Ten of Cups. Is that it? Ten of, oh, no, this is, this is the, yeah, Ten of Cups. This is like a lot of happy, um, around your home, your family. The Queen of Pentacles, I feel, is like more your energy. So I think you are very content with your home. You're, you're like take, you have a nice home. There's things coming together for you, and it could be the family's happy. Everything's working out because you're stopping something from trying to destroy something or trying to cause conflict in your life. You're putting an end to it. So let's see. We'll get the Queen of Swords here. We have here fear, blank, memories, mature. Okay, so there's some kind of fear that maybe that's why people are starting trouble or trying to trying to cause conflict because of their fear. But it's like I think you there's some of my memories here that have matured and there and you're starting something fresh, something clean with the blank one there. That's usually a a clean slate, a blank canvas. And maybe someone's afraid of that happening. I don't know. You can um always rearrange these words. I don't know if I said it this reading or not. But I recommend for people to have a pad and pen whenever you watch any reading and any reader. And then as they're saying things, you know, these are general readings. So there's not going to resonate completely with everyone. Every once in a while someone says, oh my God, it was complete. Everything was exact. But um, I would say even with that, as you're listening, even if it is resonate with you, your guides and the angels are still giving you messages exactly what's going on in your life telling you what you need to hear so i would take the pad and the pen and when you get someone saying a word or something that you or your thoughts let's say your thoughts are actually your angels and guides a lot of times so it's like them telling you oh this is for you or this is meant for you or if i'm um, say i said here that it was fear and they'll say no that's not meant for you or you know that's not meant for you you know you'll hear things like that now let's see here Queen of Pentacles. We have here married, truth, serious, obsessed. 
Now, this could be someone that is married and someone is obsessed with a married person and they're telling the truth. It's coming out. Or this could be someone that is seriously, the truth is that they're obsessed. They want to be married to you. Now, again, rearrange it how it makes sense to you or listen to the angels and guides, your guides. Um, let's see here. What else do we have coming in for you? We have here the Emperor, Aries Energy. And we have here the Magician. Wow. Okay, and we have the... This is the Knight. I don't know. For some reason, I always want to think this is a page, but it's actually a Knight of Cups. So someone's coming in and wearing a love offer here. This could be someone taking control. Someone could be in a leadership role. This could also be your energy as an Emperor. And this is you manifesting something here. This is like saying you have all the tools to manifest. So we have Aries. We have Aquarius energy here. You're bringing this in here. Let me get a, a charm on this. Knight of Cups. This is a hammer. Um, I think we came to the conclusion that we're calling this Thor's hammer here. So this is the power of Thor. You know, very powerful energy. This person might be coming in very strong and determined here. Okay. We have here, yes. Here we have the Four of Wands. This is commitment. This is someone, this is the Emperor. Whether it's you're in the Emperor, someone's coming towards you. Wants commitment. Strong leadership role. You could also be offered a job of committing to some kind of job that is pushing a leadership role. We do have here the Queen of Chalices, Queen of Cups. Yeah, so someone is manifesting this. Queen of Cups. So either you're the Queen of Cups or you're manifesting Queen of Cups. Um, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. But a very loving, nurturing energy. Also very intuitive. And we have the soul machine. Again, someone's trying to mend something, fix something. Okay, so now we have here. This is the Nine of Cups. Yeah, hopes and wishes, dreams come true. This Knight of Cups sees you as their wish fulfillment here. And they're coming in. Okay. So we have the first one we have to do is the Queen of Cups, right? Yeah. So we have love. Eventually, tower. Confused. Okay, so there's love coming towards you. Someone might shock you or you might shock someone. Airy Scorpio energy with this tower. Something happening suddenly is eventually something happening. But someone's going to be confused by this. If that makes sense. Okay, so now we do this Knight. The Knight of Cups. That's what it was? Knight of Cups? Yeah, Knight of Cups. Okay. Later, accuse the ex. Oh, what is happening there? It's later someone's going to accuse the ex of something? Okay, take it if it resonates. Leave it doesn't. Unless someone new coming in and they might say, hey, I, I, I heard so-and-so did something or something. So they might be, I hope not, because it almost feels like don't try to win someone's heart by putting someone else down. That's just not right. I mean, if someone does that, I would think just run from them because they're not, that's not nice. Okay, let's see. Oh, this goes on here. Okay, let's see what else we have coming in for you. Let's see. We have there the healing taking place for you. You can also be going on vacation, take some time off for yourself. We have the Ace of Cups coming in for you. There's a healing love coming in for you. And we have here, this is the Hermit. You could be dealing with Virgo, or this could be someone that's doing a lot of self re we, um, reflecting here. This could also be your energy, loving yourself, healing yourself, going within, and you know, giving yourself some love. Okay. Let's see about the Four of Swords. We have here the Two of Swords. Yeah, I'm trying to make a decision, but you can't yet until you figure something out or there's something hidden from you because she's blindfolded, so she wants to make a decision. But there might be something that needs to heal first. Now, what about the Ace of Cups? There's opportunity of love coming in for you. And this is going to put an end to your burdens here, the Ten of Wands. Okay, because when the Ten comes up, that means an end. And we have here, we have the, oh, look at that, we have the death card. 
So yeah, there's a definitely an ending here, a transformation, a change. I think also, I think you guys are going within, looking for answers on something here with the um, the hermit and then the death card. So Virgo energy, Scorpio energy, but it feels like you're going within and you're doing some major healing because it's like you're going through the, I would say you're going through the dark night of the soul. And when you come out, you're going to be totally transformed, totally different. This is a t big, big, big change. Okay, let's see about the possible outcome for you guys. We have here the Six of Wands. Yeah, there's a victory here. You're getting recognized for something. And we have here the Three of Pentacles. This is teamwork, working together. And we have here the Queen of Swords. Cutting out whatever does not belong, speaking your truth. I think you're coming together with others and maybe on a team. And someone's going to actually say, hey, Cancer is the one who it, you know, pulled this all together. Cancer is the one that deserves this recognition. Or it's you're the one who, that's bringing recognition to this team or whatever's happening here. Now we have here the Two of Pentacles. You have option choices. Um, this could be balancing things out. It's, two is always decision though. Okay, let me get a charm on this Queen of Swords. You could also be dealing with Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. We ha Oh, yeah, look, you're very busy. I, I was thinking that this was work. So when I see the B, I think I'm more like busy at work, industrious, um, just get really a hard worker. And this is coming out. The truth is coming out. Okay, so let's see here about the Six of Wands. We have here the Two of Cups. Yeah, you also, you definitely have a choice in love here. And this also could be... You're, they're victorious as far as a partnership coming together, a love partnership. And we have here the tower. Wow, Aries, Scorpio, and sudden surprise, something coming out of blue, something you're not expecting. And the Queen of Swords, we have here the hangman. Look at this. So this is like someone waiting for something to happen, gaining a new perspective, and the truth is coming out about it. We have here, at the bottom we have here, this is the strength card in the tower. Yeah, this is a strength card in this deck. Especially when, and when they switch up the numbers, it's confusing. But this is strength. So Leo energy, strength. This is like you're able to take on whatever you need to do here. We have a choice, option, um, a decision, but you have the strength to do this. Okay, so now for the Queen of... Oh, this is two, right? This, this is a two. Why? I was thinking she was a queen. That's the one I need. The Queen of Swords. Okay. We have here future before spying. Okay, so there might have been a future for someone until you caught them spying. Maybe, maybe someone was, was looking into your business, and maybe that why they're like, maybe you're. I almost feel like you know this hangman you see is waiting, gaining a new perspective. But I almost feel like you're hanging someone out to dry here. Maybe caught someone spying on you. And the Queen of Swords doesn't put up with anything. So there was a future with someone here until you caught them probably snooping around or looking in your business or doing something they shouldn't do. And that means an end to that. That's the energy I'm feeling with that one. All right, guys. So now let's see what signs you could be dealing with. This could be placement in your chart, placement in other view charts, past, present, and future. Let's see what we get here. We have Cancer. There you go. Starting off with your sign. And we have Leo. Aries. Aquarius. Sagittarius. And the bottom of the deck we have Capricorn. Okay, so placement in your chart, placement other chart, past, present, and future. We have Cancer, Leo, Aries, Aquarius, Sagittarius, and Capricorn. Alrighty, guys. Now, if this did not resonate with you and you checked out your sun, check out your moon, your rising, your Venus sign, something might resonate with you more. Might give you that missing piece, that missing link. The part of the puzzle makes everything click together. Um, thank you so much for all your love and support. I truly appreciate you guys. I love you so much. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your subscribes, your comments, and I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.